Uh, and then yeah, let's fill this in. There, we've got a house, but let's say, okay, so here it is. We're gonna apply the lessons of light and shadow to this house to make it look right. So let's get, um, we want, we wanna use this sphere to draw, to draw the shading of this house. And I'll show you how you can do that. So let's draw in first the rays of light. I'm actually gonna use the line tool. Let's grab some lighty color and Actually, let's do uh, a layer. Oh wait, this is a line tool, right? Yeah, okay. No, that wasn't right. It's about like that. That's the that's where light is coming from. So let's duplicate this line and move it over to the house. And you can see about where light is gonna hit this. So what you could do is you could just imagine in your head what each one of these um, polygonal faces would look like or, or about how much light would hit it and then you can draw it so uh, let's let's do that first let's um let's draw this based on just just eyeing it um, so here is our base color um, yeah most of this is going to be dark so we can go um, Actually, most of it will be in shadow. But so let's get to brightness. Or hue, that's the hue one is going to be this. So almost no rays are going to be hitting. Um, that face. A few rays. But okay, even more or even less rays are gonna be hitting this face. And maybe a little more than this. Um, yeah, a little bit lighter for this face. Whoops. And then this face is exactly the same as that. So there. That's just eyeing it, how you can do all that. Um, but here's how you would do it if you, you had a, you could draw a sphere, and then here's how you would do, use the sphere to draw all these faces. So imagine um, <clears throat> this face right here, this, this one here, this face here in the top right, if it were, if you were to draw a line, a normal line, that's, the, that's what a program would call this, a normal, coming off of this would be this would be a line that looks like about like that or <clears throat> more like that <clears throat> so you can use that normal as an indicator on on the um, boom do the exact same normal onto this your sphere and then you can go and just grab the value from your sphere right there and then paint it on and you're gonna have a good value for that. So let's do it again for this um, this normal here. This normal is gonna look sort of like that. So that we'll maybe hitting kind of like like that on this sphere. So let's paint this like that. I might have gotten that a little bit wrong, but anyways, just going on with the example. Um, Again, this normal would look up like about like that. So we're looking at maybe something like this. Let's grab that color there and then apply it. So there, that also looks pretty decent as far as the shading goes of what it might look like in reality. So that's kind of how you would use a sphere to shade um, a real object.